What's up, BF fam? This is Big Tone coming at you from Big Tone Productions, Beats and Feasts. Hey guys, today we're gonna do a little bit of a different type of video. I've been seeing these kind of taste testing videos online, and I said, well, hey, I might as well try it. Plus, it gives a little variety to what I normally post. But uh, anyway, we got a co-star today, KJ, my girlfriend, and she's, uh, let her tell you about what's going on with her. I'm gonna start my own YouTube page called Crazy Chubby Lady, and um, I'm working on it, so hopefully I'll get it out soon. Cool, very cool. So be on the lookout for that. Don't know when, but it's coming, so be on the lookout. KJ, Crazy Chubby Lady. But today, we're gonna do a video that's basically taste testing different snacks and drinks from around the world. Um, so this may be interesting. We have no clue what these taste like. I've never had any of them before. She's never had any of them before. But we're gonna give it a try. So um, let's start with, I mean, we're, we're gonna start with the thing that's probably closest to the Americans, and, and that's gonna be the European stuff. So we got, uh, yeah, grab, grab the two candy bars. I think they're both the same. What are they called? Yo-Yo wafers. So these are Yo-Yo wafers. They're both European snacks. You can try one and I'll try one. This one's milk chocolate. I don't care. This one's hazelnut. Which Good. one you want? So I'm gonna do the hazelnut. So, excuse me, I'm gonna tear open to it. Europeans pack their candy a little bit better. So, okay, so it's basically like one of our wafer bars in America. And to be honest with you, I had something like this when I was in Europe, but it wasn't called Yo Yo Yo. So anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. It tastes like a chocolate covered wafer bar. What's that taste like? Stale. Okay, what's the flavor taste like? It tastes like chocolate, but. I like these. This is actually good. I don't really taste the hazelnut. Is that what this one? Yeah, I don't really taste the hazelnut. What's that, caramel? You taste caramel? It's just milk chocolate. Mm, okay. Well, I, don't, I don't like it. She doesn't like it, I do like it. I need a paper towel because this chocolate's getting everywhere. Okay. Anyway, these are yo-yo. So we're making a mess, but that's okay. I think mine will so, sale. So let's it's just, can you put these over to the side, please? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not going to finish it? No, it takes too much time. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. Next closest to, you know, what Americans may consider the close to them is, I think these are coming from the, the ginger cookies. Where are they from? Jamaica. So these are from Jamaica, Mon. You're going to open them? Okay. Oh my wrapped. God, they got them wrapped individually. You can't even get to them. But so far, other companies have wrapped their stuff better than America. So, all right. It's a good way if you don't eat, like you don't have to, when you open the package, eat everything because they're packaged individually. I think these were like a dollar forty-nine or something, but you get you get quite a few cookies for a dollar forty-nine. So anyway, they look like little uh, shortbread cookies is what they look like, but they're ginger. Oh, let's see. Damn, they're hard as hell. Kind of like ginger snaps. Yeah, they're a harder cookie, but they're, they're, like, they're like ginger snaps. And I don't really like ginger snaps too much, but these are all right. I like them. Yeah, because you like ginger. I like ginger too, but not in a damn cookie. So. I don't really like these. I'm going to keep them for myself. Here, you can take that, put that over there. I, I'm not no fan of ginger in a, in a cookie, but it was good. It was okay. I can't complain about it. So now let's move to, matter of fact, let's do a drink. Let's do a drink because I've gotten both of those tastes in my mouth. Let's do this. This is from Thailand. This is Thai tea. Actually, I had something from, I lived in Thailand for a while. So I had something similar to this. It's almost like 
the Thai coffee or coffee in, but I've never had it in a can, so let's give it a try. Oh, orange mud. <laughs> Maybe they'll take some of the taste out of my mouth. Now that is, ah, that's about as orange as the color of the this is uh this is an acquired taste but you taste the tea it's not bad it's not bad but try it what else does it taste like i taste the tea but i also taste the cream that they put in it so it's not too bad that wasn't really a good face that you made but this isn't too bad i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to give this probably like the other two things that we tasted, I'm going to rate these, by the way. The European cookie, I'm going to give probably... Candy bar? Uh, candy bar, the wafer bar. I'm going to give that probably a six. It wasn't bad. I mean, I really... I mean, it wasn't something that I want to go out and buy, but it wasn't bad. Now, the ginger cookie, for me, I'm going to give that like a... Hell, I, I'm going to give that a thumbs down. So, I'm going to do five or less. That's probably a four for me. I like ginger, but I like it in Asian food, but I don't really want to taste it in a damn cookie. But anyway, this, who I'm going to give about a four. And probably, no, I'm going to give it a five because I've had similar things like this, so I'm kind of not necessarily used to it, but it's been a while, but I, I kind of like it. It's an acquired taste. It's a taste nirvana. So this is what heaven tastes like. I'm not, nope. Well, okay, well, okay, so I got something to wipe my mouth out here. So let's try something else. Where are these candies from? These are Spanish. They're, They're Mexican. Mexican. Okay, so Mexican somewhere, in, somewhere in the southern southern part of, you know, South America? No, Mexico's Well, this not. isn't from Mexico. I thought this is Brazilian or something. This is Brazilian. Oh, okay. All right. These are all Mexican. All right, we'll from open Mexico. that up. Let's, what is this? Is this a wafer again? Yeah, it's a candy bar. Oh, we didn't show them. Oops. What's it called? Tinder. I don't know how to say this. And we, I ripped open the package. It's B-U-E-N-O. Bru Bruno? Bono? Bruno Boner? <laughs> I don't know. It's something. But now look. Individually wrapped again. So these look like... Open up that one so we don't these look like chocolate... Um, they are... Turds. No. <laughs> they look they like rabbit that? turds. And I ripped open the wrong part of the package, so. Here, you want this one? Okay, so these kind of remind me of a Twix. Yeah, that's what, I don't think there's a can, I don't think there's a can. So they're kind of individual, they're hard. There's a wafer, not a candy bar. There's a wafer, there's a wafer. and there's some, you bite into it, you get a cream that comes out at you. Hazelnut. I hope that's hazelnut. I hope it's just not nut. <laughs> you never know from these European or these different countries. But anyway, that's not bad. I'm gonna give this about a five. This would be my snack tonight, probably. But we're gonna move along. This is okay. I give I give it about a five. I give it about a five. So you got a nice little creamy hazelnut or whatever that comes out in your mouth. Oh God, I gotta get another drink of, of this interesting tea so what's next what's the next one called well, you want to do the you need another drink is what you're saying drink or do you want to do let's just do that one my, what are these called it's called sponge sponge but no in the little like hostess used to make i don't know yeah the little like i don't know brown things with that they're smushy because these are marshmallows are those called snowballs I never liked them. Never had them. Well, these are not individually wrapped. So, what are they called? Sponge? Yeah, I don't know how to say that. Did you hold the package up for them? Okay. Sponge, I think. They are marshmallow cookies, artificially flavored, but they look 
like those, I think they're called snowballs, are they not? I don't know. Take the bottom one. No, oh, they were stuck together. So these look like um, wafer cookies. They look like the ginger cookie with some kind of marshmallow in it. It's got something brown in the middle, so I hope that is probably no, candy. No, that's supposed to be jelly. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be red. That's hot. They're coconut covered. Ooh. I can taste the artificialness. <laughs> oh. I can definitely taste the artificial, but I like it. It's almost like McDonald's food. It's definitely artificial. I think these are stale too. I like these. I mean, I give these a five. It's not something I'm gonna go, let me go get a sponge. But I like them. The cookie is soft. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this. This is pretty good. I can best believe I'm not gonna sit around and eat this all the time. I give this about a five. Let's go to the next one. I'm gonna finish this though. We're gonna do some drinks. Okay, let me finish this up. You gotta tell them what it is. It is Poti Nectar, and it is a Spanish product because it's, but it's sold here, and so they have both English and Spanish writing on it. So it's strawberry banana nectar with vitamin C. Oh yeah, this is what I need some nectar. That sounds sexual. Go ahead, pour it in. Okay, let's see what this Spanish nectar tastes like. Well, I can tell you this, I taste the can. I taste aluminum. Not so bad though. It's all right because it's got a fruity flavor, but it's definitely artificial flavoring. This is um that was okay. I can't I I can't um I can't complain. These are the ones that Let, let's can continue on with the drinks. Did you drink all that? Yeah. Okay, so what is this? This is um oh this is strawberry soybean, but I can't tell you what that is or who makes it. What is the um I don't know if I can get this open. Um anyway, this is some kind of strawberry soybean. soybean. Um, what's that stuff that you take, the pink stuff that you take? That I drink? Pepto-Bismol. Yeah, this is, um, soy boy, soybean Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It says it's strawberry so soybean drink. And this is, a. Uh, this looks like it comes from China. Um, again, they pack this damn thing so good. Okay, so it pops off like that. It's got like an aluminum lid. I don't know if I can get this off. Oh my gosh. Uh, hand me out that, that metal fork over there. Wow. Again, they package it so much better than the United States. Okay, so this is antacid. They want kids to be able to get into everything so that they can. You get more than I do. <laughs> Let's see what strawberry soybeans taste like. Did you shake this up? I did. Oh, this is putrid. This shit is nasty. This tastes like strawberry flavored water. Okay, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is nasty. If you, if you had some chalk and put in this, it tastes like Pepto. But anyway, I'm going to have to chug this down because we got other drinks to do and we only got one glass. Yes. Oh, hell, don't buy that. If you ever go to China, don't buy soybean, strawberry, soybean, soybean whatever it is. That was nasty. You got to drink that. That's part of the rules. Oh, I can't. Guzzle it down. Hold your nose and guzzle. Man up. There we go. Anyway, that was our little adventure around the world to some different countries and seeing some different types of snacks that 
people eat around the world. So it was fun. It was interesting. I might do this again. Um, but if you liked the video, please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Also check out my cooking videos. As you know, I'm a big team, big tone production, beats and feasts. Also be on the lookout for basement bars coming soon, guys. All right, be on the lookout for that. And Carrie, what's your channel going to be? Crazy Chubby Lady. So be on the lookout for that, Crazy Chubby Lady. KJ, the Crazy Chubby Lady. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, this is Big Tone signing off. Peace.